Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating text on a sphere in Onshape. We will model a sphere and with the help of a feature script create the 3D text. Feature script is a new programming language designed by Onshape for building and working with 3D parametric models. Actually all, all the commands we have in Onshape are mm, written with a feature script. All right, so I'll stop the animation and show you the part studio. First thing is a sketch to uh, 2D a circle, then a revolve, and then we will introduce that surface text feature script. All right, so I start in an empty part studio and take the top plane, press N, normal view to that, P, hide those planes, S for my shortcuts, make a circle here, Give that circle a dimension of 222 and a line here. Make that coincident with a um, origin and give that a vertical constraint. And that's it for that sketch. I'll go into the revolve, take that face here around that axis, accept that, and call the sphere globe. And maybe give it a different appearance here. And now, um, um, let's have a look at our toolbar here, our feature bar, and there is no nothing where we can say, okay, we want that um, text, um, 3D text tool or what. And we have this little thing here where I um, uh, edit some feature scripts just for... Uh, to show you the process, um, I will remove this one, the first is surface text. So I make a right click, remove, no more surface text. And then I'll add that again, right here, surface text. And let's have a look at this one here. And there it is. I double click on that and Onshape informs, informs me that this was added to my tools here and there it is. Great. So I click on that and it asked me for a baseline. I make that sketch one visible again. And this will be my baseline here. And then the base surface, that'll be this one. And right away I get a preview of some text introduced here, which I will change for that palindrome um, top spot. Top spot. Okay, so a palindrome reads um, forward and backward the same way. So I don't need that last T really, right? Because I want to revolve it all around um, our globe. So for text alignment, I take the, the fit. Text is defined. For fall, let's have a look what we get. 
and maybe I will just change that to um, bold italic. Okay. Now I will take the tine as bold and for the alignment I will take that middle there it is and for the text depth I will just change that from that one inch dimension to 18 millimeters oops I was still on the upper case one eight there all right i got that top spot there it is my the last t and revolving the other way top spot great so we can hide that sketch. Um, oh, well, actually, I, I animated that. So I need a um, mate connector there at the center. Take that command. Um, define it with a Z axis looking upwards. Show my part. Hide that sketch one. Press key to hide that mate connector. Okay, so this is the globe. So I'll change that to something like the blue planet color, that here. And um, for the text, I'll make a right click here add appearance so what would be nice here green i'll take the green now then switch over to the assembly tab define one mate connector here z-axis turn upwards insert my globe here Accept that, go into the Revolve, Revolute, take those two, accept that, and exit that command, press K to hide the mate connector, right click on Revolute, animate, And there is our blue planet. And that's it. We've successfully created text on a sphere and on shape. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos like this one.